What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords mobile video and in today's video guys we've got some KVK action from the weekend just gone. Now I wasn't online for most of KVK. I was able to jump on for literally the first 45 to 50 minutes as I went out Saturday night. But you know what they say guys the first hour of KVK is generally the best and then it's just literally dead for the rest of it. <laughs> um, unless you get really lucky of course and get a good match up. Anyway, as you can see here by just showing off some of these profiles, we're starting off with two rallies that are already set, are logged in, and these rallies were already going. We've got Lobster and Tactical going after a couple of castles. So we're going to stay with this and see how they do. This person's got a drum in the mix set, so that looks a bit worrying, but we'll see what happens. Now, Lobster doesn't have a lead here, so he's losing 30% attack boost, but that's not a problem because he's kind of thick, so he's going to fly in. Let's see what the Crustacean can do against Druid 2, against from MNG. And here comes the rally, and it's a burn. Nice. We get a nice little burn on Druid 2. He also had a drum and a vial in his mix set. Damn. And uh, Lobster gets a nice solid hit on him. Now, I wasn't in the rally because I just logged in. So, I don't know how many troops he's got left. But people are putting cords in the chat. So, I'm assuming this guy's still got some troops left. So, I was contemplating porting over and uh, setting a rally myself. As my troops weren't walking back, I can port straight away. And he hasn't ported away to run here. So, we can go ahead and instantly get that rally set. I'm going to go mix. I'm going to go with a... Oh, I think it's a 569, I think I'm going to set on this chap. Now, this one over here, Sipans, he's actually sending marches out. Well, that's what it looks like. It looks like he's hiding all these marches. We carpet this rally in. It looks like he was baiting the entire time, though, because when the rally hits, you can see Tack gets capped. So it looks like a trap um, that's trying to get some rallies here. And 3.9 is kind of rough, and he's already back in his monster gear. So he was switching gear around probably. Probably had better gear than we first saw. So yeah, trap there. It happens, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so I got full 13 seconds, sorry, left on my rally against the target that Lobster just burned. So this looks like it's probably going to be another burn. If, if Lobster's just already burned it, then there's a good chance I'm probably going to burn it as well. So let's just see what happens. Three, two, one. Gear goes on. Rally's walking. It's going pretty fast. He's gone to the top right-hand corner, but that's not going to save him today because the rally's coming in. A couple more carpets to speed it up. And boom, there it is. Nice big burn. Loving that. Down to 921. This time he runs for the hills. <laughs> he ain't staying around now. We hit him for 3.7. He had 16.6 million troops left. Um, and it looks like I did touch some tier four, but didn't really get a lot of it. 778,000 of the infantry. Um, but you know, I'll take it. It's good points for KVK. So pretty good stuff indeed. Okay, so we found a solo trap, 269 million might, solo trap with 71 million troops lost, and one of my TWK members, in fact, Dobby, has been capped on this. This guy has captured my house elf. So, with that being said, a couple of solo marches going in, as you can see. His gear hasn't gone on yet. What's his gear look like? Okay, there's the gear. Drum in the mix set, blue lamp, I don't know about that. But, I mean, other than that, the gear looks all right. If he's got a decent-sized comp and jewels behind this, it will do the job. And it's 269 million might, so that's pretty solid. He ports away. Did he get burnt? No, he captures Lobster and another March as well. Wow, so this solo trap, only down to 262 million might. It looks like a bit of a beastie. Oh, dear. So, we're going to go ahead and get the March ready. Because I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can burn this solo trap. So what I generally do when I want to burn a solo trap is I'll send a mixed full tier 5 march at it. Um, I didn't do this test against my solo trap the other day because of a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to kill my tier 5. And two, I don't need to because I know my solo trap will cap it. <laughs> but this solo trap, I don't know. I don't know how it's built. I don't know the comp. I don't know the heroes. I guess we're going to find out, right? Anyway, I get my march set. I go to go back and, and uh, attack it. But when I go back, it's migrated. Ah, oh, come on. But don't worry. We'll be back with that trap in a little bit. Before we get back to that trap, though, check out this trap. A slightly smaller one at 173 million might. Yeah, that's a solo trap, 100%. It's got, like, 36 million troops lost, zero traps lost. It's got all the red flags to show this guy's just sitting at the base waiting for a hit. He's got 110 million kills. So it looks like he's been pretty successful in his endeavors to solo trap people. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and try this guy out. And I'm going to definitely go ahead and uh, attack this. So, 
I'm just, I'm just looking at it. I'm, uh, right now, you're looking at the thought process. I'm looking at it and thinking, hmm, do I want to? I'm a little bit too far away from where I am right now. I was looking for a good space to go to. Like, where's a good spot to go to to hit this guy? And I saw this space over on the right. I figured that's slightly off his screen. This might be a good place to go ahead and uh, attack him from. So as you can see, we're getting ready now. His gear's not on. And I've got the march ready. Just checking boosts, gear, formation. It's all set properly. Yeah, it's all good. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and attack. And away we go. Full tier five march mix going up against this solo trap. I'm just speeding my marches in as quickly as I can. I've got no level threes. And I'm not even looking at the gear. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> I've burned him straight out the forest. Very nice. And 10.6 million troops. Pretty solid. I got a decent sized walk back as well. 118,000 troops. And we take a look at the comp and now we can understand why it's burned. It's got the old meta. Costello trap, low tier three front line with the tier with the tier twos. You know, it's uh I'm telling you, man, tier fours in the solo trap works a charm. I demonstrated that the other day. And uh, yeah, that guy burns. Anyway, back to the other solo trap, Beamer 11, the 269 million might solo trap that captured Lobster and Dobby and somebody else. We're counting down now because we've put, we've found him. We've been put with about 100 miles away from him. And we're going. We're going with the gangbang. Here it goes. Do -do 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 -do. Let's get it. So as you can see, everyone's marching on him, including myself. I wish I had some level three boots. Everybody's speeding in. It looks so cool, doesn't it? <laughs> everyone's speeding in as fast as they can. I saw my. I'm trying to get to him. But I didn't have level threes. And he shields. He's on fire. Oh, no. It's absolute devastation for Beamer 11. <laughs> this guy gets absolutely lit up from 269 down to 156. He could not survive the gangbang. It was insane. I didn't get to hit. He shielded just before I hit him. And wow, that's over 100 million mic drop in troops. It's a massive L <laughs> for Beaver 11. Oh, no. Okay. And then we found this guy, Lol FCK. Um, in full mythic range gear, he's just been capped by another solo trap that was floating around the kingdom. <laughs> so because, of course, this guy is in Fresh Fury and he's capped. Of course, we set a rally on him. So Heavy John's got a rally on him. And I'm rallying Word 93. This donut came over to my fault and scouted it. So I immediately set a rally on him. So we're going to see if Word 93 is also up to the challenge. What you're also going to see here is a rally lead that's not concentrating, who's trying to go out and get ready and starts panicking because he's having a brain fart. Well, look at me trying to put this infantry jewel in. I need to put a terror jewel in. I get in such a flap here because I got 11 seconds till the rally goes. I nearly dismantled my boots. Look. Watch this. I nearly dismantled them. Look. I nearly dismantled my champion boots. <laughs> I'm in such a flap. I quickly go to the thing and change the gear because I'm about to hit. And just luckily enough, I switch to my gear. Minus one jewel just before my rally hits and still get a pretty solid hit. <laughs> Don't tell the guild I didn't get a jewel in. 5.1 million red deads. It's a pretty cool hit nonetheless. Uh, so it's, that's okay. Luckily, it wasn't a massive trap or something. Now we're back with Heavy John going in on LOL FCK. Uh, three, two, one. The capped guy in the full mythic range. I'm going to burn all my carpets for you, John. Let's go, baby. Get that, get that rally in nice and quick. And let's have a look and see. Is he going to burn? He does burn. Oh, <laughs> nice. He's got 4 billion kills, this guy. He's only got 20 million troops, though. Down to 17 million troops after that hit from John. And just looking at his comp, I can see he's got a lot of range and cav, but he doesn't have a lot of infantry left after that hit. So I need to get a rally on this guy. He's not running. Why are you not running, dude? I, I can't say I need to get my, my march back because I just rallied someone. So I can use a griffin quickly. Pull my march back quick, quick, quick. He's focusing on putting cat emojis up and sitting there when he should be getting the hell out of there because he's still in fury. Unfortunately, he's not thinking straight. He's still in a whirl after John hit him and I get another range rally set on him and he's still in fury. Like this is this is this is not how to defend yourself, guys, especially when you've lost your leader and you haven't got that many troops. If you get hit like this, you need to get the hell out of there the moment you take the first hit. But he left me so much time there to get in and set that rally. And now he's in big trouble because now his infantry's down. I'm going to be coming at him with the range warrior blast. And he's still in fury. He's got no choice. But now I've woken up a little bit and I actually get my jewels correct. I'm still in a flap. I'm still moving up and down. I'm still in a flap from the previous rally. Like, I'm all over the place at this point. 
But no, seriously, I was getting ready to go out. It was the evening. I had a concert to go to and I was trying to do things and be at the computer and record some stuff for you guys. And I was in a flap. That's why I messed up my jewels a minute ago. But don't worry, I'm all set. This guy is off. Now he's running. He's running to the top left hand corner because it's, you know, it's just twigged. He's just realized another rally set on him. He's just looked over at his fury counter and seen the fury and his jaws dropped. He's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, well, we're going to see the white of his eyes right now, guys, because we're about to go in three, two, one. Let's get it. Rally, rally going. Speed in that range rally and across the kingdom as fast as possible. Three, two, one. Boom. Let's go, baby. Nice big burn. Lol, FCK goes up in flames. And it's a pretty solid hit. And I took, put it in range phalanx. Not the best optimal way to send a range blast, but you have to do that in case they put a garrison in. Because the garrison will cook your range rally. Look, there he is. Look, there's the garrison. Had I have gone infantry wedge or put the range at the back, it would have been a crap hit. But I smashed through the garrison with my range front and then smashed into his castle for 7 million. Let's go, baby. 110 million might drop. Absolutely delicious. Lots of tier fours and tier five kills. That's what I'm talking about. What a nice rally. Very good stuff. And he took a bunch of tier four infantry reins as well and still stayed in range foul. So it worked out a bunch, worked out really well for me. And then to finish off the content that I got, this was literally just after I got out of the shower. I noticed there was another rally going on. So I quickly recorded it before I walked out the door for you guys. Uh, Borg. It's all Borg's fault that I was maybe five minutes late to meet my mum <laughs> on the on Mother's Day weekend just gone. But it's all good. 30 seconds to go. And it's always Borg's fault though, right? I mean, let's be honest. And uh, 25 seconds and we're going to see what Borg can do. He's got his Trojan pop. He's going up against Nezabukka 11. And this might have been one of the Fury targets that reinforced the target that I just burned. So we'll see. We're going to go carps, of course. I'm out of carps. So I just used them all on John's rally. So I'm done now. But hopefully the guys have still got some because Borg's going to fly in and see what he can do. Here he goes. And he's flying. And let's see if this Nezabukka 11 has got what it takes. Here comes Borg. Is he going to get capped or is he going to burn it? What do you reckon, guys? Here it comes. Oh, another burn. And only the one troop walk back, which tells me one thing. This guy's got quite a many troops inside his castle. He runs for the hills. And let's take a quick look, see at it. And you can see he had 27 mil. Not bad. Not bad, Borg. Pretty good burn, bro. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the KBK video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and peace out.